Hello, I'm Oliver and I'm 21 years old. I've lived in Portsmouth for eight years now and I like 80s and metal music and one of my favourite things is my Walkman and in my free time I like to play Xbox games and paint miniatures. For me, art is making something and having the freedom to create and express oneself is one of the few things in life where we have full control over. Um, from my experience of living in Portsmouth, I think that there needs to be stricter security and policing with much better training to handle necessary situations. For example, police have been uh, unable to handle certain situations and have been villainised for it because they haven't known the right measures to take or they haven't had experience dealing with certain types of people or maybe mental disorders or certain problems people will normally deal with. And it, security also seems quite laxed as well and like proper problems don't seem to be responded to properly. And I think that links into improved or stricter education uh, for everyone in schools now, which might um, improve behaviour because people will now know the consequences, how to act properly, and will know how to deal with certain things now as well. So, like, it's harder to deal with situations like security, dealing with certain mental health issues. These mental health issues are explained and taught better. Like, people will be able to, like, just handle them more easily and not come off as maybe accidentally offensive in a way. I think there also needs to be a bit of a revival or restoration of Portsmouth and by this I mean restoring and giving more colour to the buildings as they seem run down they're almost falling apart and they only seem to be restored or fixed or, maybe, or sometimes even the bare minimum of just putting scaffolding up at the point of them basically about to collapse. And on the subject of building, more recreational spaces for people to go to like for example Fairham has a free table tennis lounge and something like that would be good because young people won't be loitering and possibly some of the harassment where they harass people might be from boredom, so they could direct their energy and like entertain themselves and have something to do in the lounge, which could reduce those sort of bad incidents from happening. And it would give people maybe a nice place to spend time without having to spend much money if they don't have money, because not everyone can afford a big day out. Also in Portsmouth, I noticed like towards more towards South Sea, like the shore side you go, it tends to be more colourful and artistic more vibrant like in Albert Road there's lots of murals of like celebrities on the sides of buildings and the buildings even if they don't have anything on them they are painted like big bold colours and stand out a lot more so I think uh, Portsmouth definitely has its own sort of its own style from what I've heard like a lot of people just don't seem to know that there's a lot of courses on when there, there seems to be quite a few on so maybe publicising a bit more advertising it and investing resources like the big screen in Guild Hall for something like that rather than just showing events which everyone knows about because lots of these events like Victoria's already have plenty of advertising posters plastered everywhere whereas these small things like these nice little outlets for people to sort of have fun, relax, um, aren't very well known.